Orlando man has been arrested and charged with plotting with his girlfriend to shoot up power stations and destroy the city of Baltimore's power grid. 27-year-old Brandon Russell appeared in Orlando federal court today. West News Amanda Dukes was there for us. And Amanda, what happened? Well, after hearing about a half hour worth of testimony from an FBI agent who investigated this alleged conspiracy, a judge here in Orlando did find probable cause to charge Brandon Russell with conspiring to damage a U.S. energy facility. This is a mugshot of 27-year-old Brandon Russell of Orlando from his 2017 arrest in Tampa for possession of bomb-making materials. Federal agents say at the time they were investigating the murder of two of his roommates by a third roommate when they discovered Russell's stash of explosives as well as a photo of Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh on his nightstand. Russell was sentenced to five years in prison. This morning, the U.S. Attorney for the District of Maryland announced Russell has been arrested again. This time, investigators say he and his girlfriend, Sarah Beth Clendaniel of Catonsville, Maryland, are charged with plotting to attack multiple power substations around the city of Baltimore. As the criminal complaint alleges, Clendaniel and Russell conspired and took steps to shoot multiple electrical substations in the Baltimore area, aiming to, quote, completely destroy this whole city. According to the FBI, the couple was fueled by a racist extremist ideology and believed by conducting the attack they would bring further light to their views. The arrest affidavit says Russell started his own nationalist social group called the Adam Waffen, known to law enforcement as a racially or ethnically motivated violent extremist group, and his girlfriend Clint Daniel shared similar views. Investigators wouldn't say how they were tipped off to Russell and Clint Daniel's alleged plans, but the arrest affidavit says in messages with an undercover agent, Russell discussed conducting critical infrastructure attacks and said conducting a small number of attacks on electrical substations could cause a cascading failure. Russell provided instructions and location information. He described attacking the power transformers as the greatest thing somebody can do. And no cameras are allowed in federal court, but I can tell you Russell answered only a few questions from the judge as he tried to determine his mental competency. The judge did find him competent, and Russell requested that his detention hearing be held in Maryland, not here. So for now, he will remain in federal custody. Live in Orlando, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.